Oh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Ian Allen. This is Crime Watch. And we are back. Top of the evening to all those of you who are locked online. A special good evening to all those of you looking at me from all over the world. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the worst happened today. I want to tell you the worst. The worst. And, and you know, I tell you this, yeah? I tell you this. People, the criminals, they have really, and I tell you, listen to me, 
They're not stopping, they're not stopping, they're not stopping. But you, you know what we're facing? We're facing something that we allowed. We're facing a situation that we allowed to escalate. That is what we did. We allowed to escalate. We allowed this to escalate. When they said no phones in the prison, no phones in the prison. Go, go, you, you, you go all over the world. In, you go like this, America, England, Canada. Where are prisoners getting a phone to call you? Where? I don't understand that. Where? They have systems in place where you can get a call on a weekend and whatnot. But nevertheless, ladies and gentlemen, you saw the order almost, at, well, they, they are attempted assassination on the prison, on, on, on the deputy pr prison commissioner. You saw that today. That is, and I tell you this, I tell you this today, ladies and gentlemen, they're going to come after judges. They're going to come after, they, they, they're going to come after police officers. In fact, I don't know how true it is, ladies and gentlemen, but there was a clip, there's a voice note going on telling police in Trinidad and Tobago to be on high alert. We don't know, we, we, we can't confirm if it came from, from command center. We don't know or if maybe, uh, uh, you know, something was sent to all divisions. But nevertheless, ladies and gentlemen, that is what we found out. That is what we found out, ladies and gentlemen. That is what we found out. But this is terrible. This is terrible. This is terrible. The shooting of, and the bodyguard of the deputy commissioner of prison, Sherwin Bruce, was shot. He was shot. And the bodyguard of the deputy commissioner identified as Sherwin Bruce was shot and wounded outside his barataria home early on Wednesday. At around 7 p.m., 49-year-old Steve Pitt, who is also a prison officer attached to Bruce, arrived at the Barataria home to pick him up. As he parked his vehicle, a white Toyota Axio registered registration, PC8-4132, a golden Nissan Almera, three masked men exited and started shooting his direction. Pitt reportedly bent under the dashboard for cover but was hit twice in the right arm. The suspect quickly fled the scene in the incident. Responding officers of the Northeastern Division Task Force took Pitt to Mongtop where he was treated. Officers have not indicated who was the target and are investigating the, in, the, the, the... Anyhow, they're selecting the bodyguard of the Deputy Commissioner of Prison, Sherwin Bruce, at around 7, 7, 30, 7 a.m. The 49-year-old Steve Pitt, who's also a prison officer, attached to Sherwin Bruce, arrived at his Barrio, Barataria home to pick him up. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So ladies and gentlemen, if you have, I mean, this is terrible. This is terrible. Open up the lines. Just keep showing that video. Just imagine that the bodyguard of the deputy, the, the bodyguard of the deputy pr prison commissioner, Steve Pitt, who's also a, uh, well, he's attached to, to, to the deputy commissioner, the driver. Imagine he's going to pick up the, com the deputy commissioner and bam shot in her. Bam shot. Just imagine that gunman in you know, her. Gunmen, ladies and gentlemen, just imagine that gunmen. Leave it right there, leave it right there, pause it right there, leave that right there, let people see. Let people see what the extent. I tell you, we live, ladies and gentlemen, we live in a narcos state. This is a narcos state. That is, that is how we live. We live in a narcos state. We live in a narcos state. 
This is real. This is a real serious thing, you know. This is a real serious thing. Maybe they didn't want to kill. Maybe it it it, it, it is just a, an assassination attempt. Maybe they thought the, the, the commissioner was already in the vehicle, or maybe they, oh you don't know, you don't know, you don't know, or just a send a, just a send a signal. Yeah, what's going on? We coming to get you. We coming to get you. And but but strange enough, we're hearing that he was the person responsible for the jammers. He's the person. I, I don't know. You're hearing rumors like that 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 and, and, that he was the person who said that yeah, you have to put back the jammers. But nevertheless, whatever, whatever, he could say what he wants. But nevertheless, you tell him this is a real serious thing, and that is why I tell you, people like him, deputy commissioners, commissioner, people who hold office who safety is compromised, so, should have a static guard at their home from the state. You can have the Attorney General and you can have the Minister of National Security with 10, 12 men, 4 or 5 vehicles and he ain't really doing nothing. We should protect persons like, we should protect persons like Chauvin Bruce. Yeah, we should protect them. We should protect them. We should protect them. The, the, the Commissioner and the Deputy Commissioner. Persons like the Commissioner of Transport. People like them, because remember, car, them exposing all these stolen vehicles and whatnot. They make he exposing the, the, com, the commissioner of transport going after persons who scrapping vehicles and changing chassis. And remember, that, that is a, a hundred million to three hundred million dollars kind of business. So, those things, ladies and gentlemen, is serious. Very, very serious. You have, we provide, the state providing security for people who are doing nothing. So these frontline people and them, yeah, but you have to protect them. You have to protect them. You have to protect them. Hi, caller. Good evening. You're live on Crime Watch. Good afternoon, Mr. Allen. And how are you? I am great. Mr. Allen, you remember we lost the uh, Commissioner Hercules a few years ago in Barataria cell? That was, let me tell you when that was, eh? Yes, you had it on your show too. Yes, right in Bataria, he lost his life. They gunned him down, and when they interviewed the, the young man, mother, she said he went to look for money because he was he, he was broken. Yeah, that was nineteen. Come back to me. You know when that was? Let me tell you something. That was nineteen nineteen April seventh, nineteen ninety. Hercules, for the uh, um, pri uh, that is nineteen ninety three. I'm trying to get it here. So I wonder if I have it here. Twenty-eight. Let me tell you something. Twenty-eight prison officers have been murdered between 1990 to 2021. Twenty prison. Twenty-eight prison officers. Just to let you know that. So just imagine. One doesn't wake you up. Two doesn't wake you up. Twenty-eight prison officers, ladies and gentlemen, they have been murdered. From 1990 to now. Among them, ladies and gentlemen, among them, a commissioner, a, a, a sitting commissioner of prison, 58 year old, Michael Hercules, who was the second prison officer to have been killed in the history of the service. Do we have a picture of Hercules? We don't have a photograph. Can we get it, please? Hercules, who served as commissioner of police from 1986 to 1993, was shot dead near his vehicle on the night of August 14, 1993, during an attempted robbery of his vehicle on 9th Avenue, Barataria. One of his suspects, John Mitchell, was killed, Hercules, who was killed by Hercules during a shooter while the other, Anthony Nevada, was arrested and charged, convicted and sentenced to death for killing Hercules by High Court on, 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 the, 30th, on the 30th of November, 1995. Let's imagine that. 28 prison officers, you know, on April 7, 1990, prior to Hercules' murder, 42 year prison officer Jai Chan Golcharan was the first officer to be murdered after he was killed by an inmate while on duty at the Port of Spain prison. The list of other prison officers over the years, in 1998, 51 year old junior holder was killed in Shagaramas on the 25th, 1998, February. In 2001, 22-year-old Atwell Sandy was shot dead in Cascade. In 2003, Winston Sandy was shot dead in Laventil. In, 20, in, in 2005, Anselm Paul, 49-year-old, shot dead in, in, in Laventil. These are prison officers I'm telling you about. 
In 2008, 31-year-old Anim Joseph was shot dead in St. Joseph on June the 18th. In 2009, Ian C. Gobin, 35, was shot and killed in Aruka. We are talking about prison officers here. Natak, uh, Nataki Holloway, 2010, he was killed in, in Gasparillo. In, 2000, in 2010, Bertrand Thomas shot dead in Toko, March 28. In 2010, Aaron Simmons, a 53-year-old prison officer in Lavantil. In 2010, Marvin Diaz, 35 years shot dead in Gasparillo. In, in 2010, Reynold Paris, 21, shot in Malaban, August 21st. In 2013, Andy Rogers, 42, shot dead. All these are prison officers. In 2014, Dominic Bernard, stabbing point, appearing June 15th. In 2015, Andel Primus, 27-year-old, shot and killed in Mova. In 2015, Otis Johnson was shot moments after he left Frederick Settlement Prison. Frederick, she's prison, sorry. Remember Otis John? He was shot moments after he left Frederick Street Prison. In 2015, Robert Cicheran was shot with his service firearm by a close female relative during a domestic dispute in Penal. In 2015, Superintendent of Prison, Dave, imagine, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. In 2015, Superintendent of Prison, David Millet, 50, shot and killed in Mova. Just imagine that, in 2015. In 2016, Fitzalbert, Victor Jr., was shot dead. Just imagine, 2015, a Superintendent of Prison, David Millet, 50, shot and killed in Mova. In 2017, Richard Sandy, 46 years old, shot at a bar in Gasparillo, 2017. In 2017, Glenford Gardner, shot in Diego Martin on October. In 2018, Devendra Budram, shot in Port of Spain. Remember all that, those are prison officers. In 2018, prison superintendent Wayne Jackson, shot and killed outside his Malabar Arima home. Why are we forgetting these people? In, four, in 2020, 48-year-old Sherwin Francis, Shot and killed at his home in Oasis Greens in 2020. In 2020, Stephen Richardson shot and killed outside his Mount Pleasant London Baptist Church along the Maruga Road, Third Company. In 2021, Trevor Serrett, 40, a 48 year old prison officer of Sandy Grande, who had 26 years of service, gone down in front of his, his fruit and vegetable stall in Valencia. In 2021, Nigel Jones. Gondong, and you telling me up to now, up to now, up to now, ladies and gentlemen, the Attorney General, the Prime Minister, the Minister of National Security have big entourage. When they're going through, when they're going through town, you feel like it's, uh, you, 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 feel, you, you think it's, it, it's um, Trump or one of them, uh, in the President or whoever, President Biden or former President Donald Trump or some high, some real Sawati so in Trinidad, they're blocking road, they're doing all kind of thing. And what are these people doing? Nothing for you, nothing, nothing, nothing. Yesterday I saw the Minister National is yesterday what they're in tongue. Big, big blue light. If you see, if you see how much cars are not, where is this? Where is this? Former commissioner, commissioner, what 20, how much people they want? Big entourage, big entourage. Well, I saw her, I, I saw Ola Philip. I, I want to ask if she take a taxi to come because I didn't see nobody with her. I didn't see her. So I saw one little car, some little, well, the security come out, and I say, okay. But these people who hold offices like this should be protected. They should be protected. Based on our history, you see, the, you see let me tell you something. Based on the history, it shows you the threat to prison officers. Frontline prison officers should be given a firearm. Likewise, also frontline police officers should be given a firearm and a wireless to go home with. Trust them must be properly prop they must be properly evaluated and checked out. Frontline officers, frontline, frontline. Men who in the front should be given a, a wireless and a, and, and a, a a firearm to go home with because it's it hostile. What about officers who live in hostile neighbors like, like, like Lavantil and Mova? Well, boy, every, listen to me. Every part of Trinidad is hostile right now. Every part. Every part. Every single part. Are you telling me? And it's not a matter. They, now, they're going to come with all kind of theory, all kind of theory. But here what's going on. 
they went, they, they went for the arm. They went for the, the bodyguard. The commissioner was not a threat. Uh, they will come with all kinds of things to make, to, to make it, to, just to calm the situation. But let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. No jammers, there's no jammers. Jammers, there's jammers. No phone, no phone. You can't tell me. So it just goes to show. Sometimes some of these officers, when they are held with contraband, sometimes they don't know the pressure that, they are there, that these officers are being placed under. When a, when, a, a, when a notorious prisoner can tell you, hey, you can bring a cigarette or something for me. Or your, or your wife going, and she drive the um, 606, or, or she drive a, um, a Toyota Corolla. So you drop the two, the two children in school. Them children still going to school. I see one of them pass the exam. There's real line by the parlor. And start, to, and start to put fear into the prison officer. So sometimes, ladies and gentlemen, as much as you might be seeing that, that prison officers are being held with contraband items like cigarettes and cell phones and things, sometimes you don't know. You don't know what they're going through. It have a flip side to that. But based on what I just read to you here, with 28 prison officers have been murdered between 1990 to 2021. Ladies and gentlemen, because now, ladies and gentlemen, everybody know that where the deputy commissioner are living. So he and all might have to move from there, or they might have to have security, or because I don't understand. You have security for the president, you have security for everybody. These people guarding, these people, these people housing the most notorious, the kind of criminals committed the most heinous murders in Trinidad and crime. These people are supposed to be properly protected. Properly, properly protected. I see nothing wrong with that. I know th there was a problem with a FUL, with, with, with officers, frontline officers, having FUL, having a firearm to go home. I see no problem in that. Whoever wants to kill their wife, go kill their wife with a, with, with, with a gun. Or, or, so don't come and tell me when the woman and she husband fight in Edinburgh, the police officer, kill, the, kill, kill her husband or her man or whatever. Don't come and tell me that is why you don't give police people gun. Because if you want to kill your wife and you have no gun, you just go and get a gun and go back and go back home. So you can't, you, you, you can't base it on that. You can't base it on that. You understand? Because the devil can fly in anybody here. But it's a serious thing. And they have refused to protect people like the commissioner of police. Look, even I telling you, I think that, that, that even the, 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 the transport commissioner, I put up his picture as a school friend of mine. I don't know what class he was in, but I know it was sometime in that same year I, I remembered him. If he was in a higher class or so, at Carpichai, my junior sec. But at the end of the day, ladies and gentlemen, these people are supposed to have some kind of level of protection. What Heinz doing? Heinz are doing nothing. I flams thing for them. I mean, we have security, we have this, we have that, but it costs us a lot. It costs us a lot. So then you see, we're going on different scenes and whatnot. And you should put yourself in my position. What am I doing this to fix this country for who? I could jump up in and go away and never come back here, you know, but I'm not doing that. It's that some people just can't leave. We want to fix back this place. But when we see these things, it's a frightening thing. What about the, 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 the judges and the magistrate that have to dispense Justice. Judicial officers. What about them? The Chief Justice have his security detail. We know that. We have seen that. But what about some of the judges and whatnot? Who telling you murder you're going to get for you? Spend the rest of your living time in, in, in behind bars. What about the, these people seeing your face? Watch. Thy Mary. She ready from San Fernando, you know. This one. And we live, we, 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 sorry, we live in different times. These people must be protected. When you say, this is a different road. You have to understand the dynamics. The dynamics of crime has changed, you know, over the years, you know. Police and everybody have to, to interact with different people now, you know, to understand crime, you know. Long time, you want to deal with this one. We don't want to talk to Ian Allen. Now, we want to hear you. Now, you have to come and speak to me. No, you have to you have to come and talk to me. No, you realize I have information. The, the dynamics are, are, are solving crime has changed. You need the, the you need the involvement of the public. And as much as the public do have confidence in you or they have confidence in Ian Allen, they have an Ian Allen in, 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 in Ian, Ian Allen website. They have they, they have confidence. 
and you have seen it. And that is why every day, well, we, had, we, spend a lot of, we had to spend a lot of money on security now. But I ain't taking no shooting from nobody. I tell you, you know, I stand up on this television set here tonight, and I tell you, two of me go down that road. We are going down that road. I ain't not going down that road. I ain't backing down. Whatever you, you, you do your thing, but let me tell you something. I turn it back on you. I coming back for you. I tell you on national television. I run in a pack clip and coming back for you. Me take, I not taking that buzz up from you. I tell you, you flat and who, I don't care. I don't care about the consequences after. I not taking that from no criminal. I not taking that. You can't come in front of in front of people and shoot them up, shoot up the guard. He gone. He had nothing to do with that. But you just want to send a signal because you're a bad man. You're use, use, use a bad man. That's the same thing we see in Chicago as well with, with, with Valley and them. Um, you're a bad man. You shoot a man outside going, going up the overpass by, by Grand Bazaar, gun him, gun down people. Where is this? And I, I, up to yesterday, I'm telling you that. And up to yesterday, I'm telling you that. So I, I, I was telling my good friend, Senior Superintendent Smith, as much as, as, as much as it has senior officers, senior superintendents and whatnot, we have to put things in place to protect these people. The, the dynamics of crime has changed. The demand of criminals have changed. We are not in the same... We have, we, we have computerized system. We have internet. We have phone. You could FaceTime. You don't have to ask somebody a direction no more. Just imagine, we have a technology so advanced. You could be in Cedros, and I could be in Chaguanas. And you could stand up our shop and say, send me a location. And I could sit down in my car, and I don't have to talk to you again. I don't have to talk to you again. I'm going straight to where you're standing right there. You have reached your destination on ways. Technology has changed. So we have to start to think outside of the box. We are thinking too much inside of the box. The laws have to be amended. You cannot have the same laws from 1990, 1987, 1980, 1970. You can't have them kind of laws again with donkey cart and a cart on the road and a cart on the... You have to change things. Because things are evolving. Things is, it's different now. It is different. And this, is a, this, this juncture that we have reached, it is a very serious thing. It's not a matter the bodyguard was shot. It is an assassination attempt in the, in the front of the deputy commissioner's house. What about his children? What about his family? Oh, what about these people and what about the neighbors? No, we cannot take that level of lawlessness. These people must be haunted on and dealt with. These people responsible for doing that must be haunted on and dealt with. We need to find them. You see them brandishing firearms, ladies and gentlemen, on, 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 on the social media. And that's a cool thing. They must be hunted down. And that is why, ladies and gentlemen, the government does not care. If you go back to the DPP's office on Park Street, yeah, you have the video where they wanted to put the DPP's office. You can't put the DPP's office in the middle of town. That's the office of the, 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 direct, the, the director of public prosecution. You cannot do that. You can stand up off Piccadilly Street and let go shots. You can let go shots. And that was one of the problems where we put in the office of the DPP. You put in the office of the DPP next, next to our bank and next to our ATM. But you have to ask, who owns that building? Who owns that building? Who is the owner of that building? Rent being paid. But if I was the DPP, Roger Gaspard, I'm not going there. I'm not going there. Don't go. Mr. Roger, let me tell you something. Roger Gaspard, you know me. You know me. You know me. You don't want to risk your life, you know. And sit down in no car because, let me tell you, we live in different times, you know. Long time, the laws for donkey cart is still around, you know. But now we have cars. We have Mercedes. We have all kind of advanced cars. We have, we have electric cars, whatever. We still have the donkey cart laws, you know. Imagine officers, state prosecutors coming out there from the office of the DPP. Boy, man, give dealing with them right in front of me. Right in front of me. You send on my brother. You make my brother get charged for rape. You make sure you fight the case and you win. I'll go wait for you outside the court. I'll go wait for you. And it has so much ways I can run. And they wanted to put the office of the DPP there when special branch went. They said, but who come in there? Nobody are going there. Nobody are going there. And yet, 
All that money wasted every month. All that is money wasted every month. They outfitted it. They could have glass building. They could have they, 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 they could have bulletproof glass. It is not a place where a DPP, because the traffic congestion, when it comes out, when they exit from the building, there's too much traffic. There's a stop. There's a stop. There's a stop. So it's a, it is a security risk. There is a stop. So how much blue lights you can put on, how much siren. All it takes is for a man from the Piccadilly Street to stand up right here and just hit you the shot so with an AR or something. And party done. And we lost Roger. We lost with DPP and we don't want that. They don't understand in this country how crime has changed. We didn't have before, before COVID, we didn't have this level of, co of home invasion, but you realize the dynamics have changed. During COVID, I can tell you one thing. I deal with criminals every day. The kind of thing I, I, I tell you is only God can protect me. You could ask senior superintendent Smith, according to Smith. Smith said, boy, it's only God protecting you. And let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. What did I give him information about something? I give him information about something. And is only God, is only God could protect him, could, 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 could protect me. And that's why I believe he that look over Israel, if, if the true watchman don't watch over Israel, the other watchman watch it in vain. If God don't watch, whoever you have, watch it in vain. But it's frightening. It is frightening. This level that we have reached today, this is a turning point. They're going to come with all kind of PR stunt and say, well, it was the God, it, was, it wasn't the man. You go in front of a, com a deputy commissioner's house. You know how traumatized these people will be now? He has to move from there. You got to move. You got to relocate. And maybe the state, might, the state would have, I, you know what I would have done? I would have may maybe put him somewhere, put him somewhere, the, just him to relax his head and do things in a, in, in, in a, a proper way and whatnot. And secure his family and thing. Yeah, I would have done that. I would have done that immediately. Ask him what do you like to do. But make sure and put maybe get persons. I don't know if it would work if we could get persons from prison, prison officers. I don't know. I, I, I don't. I, I don't know the laws for that. If they could get prison officers attached to the. I, I think they have a detail. But now we have to extend it to the deputy commissioner of prison. As much as the prison commissioner has a detail, the prison officer, prison commissioner have a good detail. I saw them in action a day, <laughs> right before COVID. You all remember when we did the interview? If we could get back that, I interviewed the commissioner of prison, and he said, "Ian, I love your shoes." That was Pulchan. He said, "I love your shoes." Yeah, and then they say I have COVID, and then everybody told the prison commissioner thought he had COVID too. He said, "We well, didn't go close to him." <laughs> But it is a serious thing. This, this frightening. This is a frightening thing. I don't feel a lot under. Let me, tell, let me tell you something. I'm crying. You don't know. Listen to me. You don't know the mind of the criminals like me. You don't know. You don't know. I know it like a science. I could stand here and I could talk for hours. Hours. Talk, 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 talk. And I could tell you. You see, during COVID, boy, I don't know what happened to the minds the mind of the criminal. Boy, they just step up the game. It's a totally different person. Totally. In the last three years, the minds of the criminals, they don't care. They will kill children. They will kill your grandmother. They will kill your grandfather. They will rape your 95-year-old grandmother. That is, how we, that is what's going on in this place right now. To me, I said deal with them. Deal with them. Now, what we have to do, put more security. And that's why I tell you, there's an account. We want people to go up to that account and start to put. Put a little money. Because we're fixing this place. I don't want the money from the state. You see, that? You see what you're seeing here? Post it up so we could get more security and we could do what we have to do. But think about it. Why am I doing all that? And, people, and you see, I'll tell you something. People do appreciate you, you know. People do appreciate it. Why would I take my money and, and do this and do that? And well, 
Well, Trinidad so love me. Trinidad so love me. But you know what? I'm patriotic. I love Trinidad and Tobago. And we have to fix this place. I don't want to hear about none of them and none of them. Everybody had guard by the house and everybody. Everybody, everybody had the everybody had the security. Everybody had this, they had that, they had this, they have that. But this is a very serious thing. We should have already, in countries, in countries around the world, the commissioner, the the com the, the minister of national security, the prime minister should have come out and see, because he's in charge of the security council, but there was an incident. There was an incident. I would have just come out for two minutes. Breaking news, the prime minister makes a, a statement with respect to the shooting of the, um, at the deputy commissioner's residence. And I would have said, well, you know, we are, I'm sure by now you are aware of the incident, and this is what we have here at 7 o'clock. And, le and let them know that we have condemned this act, and we will get those responsible Give them that assurance. Give other pris prison officers that assurance that you, you care. Up to this now, up to, up to now, we are here from nobody. We are here from nobody. Let's take a fast break. October is here with PSL deals. Price so low all month long. Get the Telepasta Cuts, 4 for $19.95. Creamy Ice Cream, 1 gallon, 2 for $1.19.95. Mali Soup It Up, 4 for $19.95. Santa Rosa Viana Sausage, 4 for $19.95. Swiss Mambo Sauce, 2 for $29.95. Turbo Benny, 2 for $24.95. Stella Rosa Wine, 750 ml, only $99.95. Caribbean Mimosa and Group was $86.95, now $73.95. Fair Toilet Paper, 6 pack, 2 for $19.95. Happy Mac and Cheese, 3 for $19.95. It's Breast Cancer Month. Early detection is the best best solution. Secure your chances to win one of 10 mammograms with the purchase of pink label products from featured brands. Three convenient locations, one in Rio Claro and two in Mayaro. SNS Passat, loyal to local. Are you in search of affordable, high-quality wrought iron hollow section steel sheets, wheels, banquet chairs, tables, aluminum stages and more to elevate your next project? Look no further than Homeland Marketing. Located in Montreux Chiquanas, Homeland Marketing, beautifying homes. Chiclisha Limited, the Caribbean's largest manufacturers of plain and printed paper bags, leaders in plastic bags, vermicelli, spit piece powder and greaseproof paper, ideal for doubles, french fries and sandwiches, supplying stores nationwide. For quality products, trust Chiclisha Limited, 665-3336. Now opened at our Montrose Shagwanas branch, Tire Clinic's Truck Tire Department. With a faster tire changer, the largest service bay to facilitate all your heavy equipment needs. We carry tires for cars, motorcycles, or get your alignment done all at one spot. Call or visit us today. Go live with Ian Allen and let the world take notice of your business. Be seen by millions on all our platforms, Facebook, YouTube, our iOS and Android applications, and website, ianallen.org. Our network showcases you to viewers locally, regionally, and internationally. You'll be seen by millions. Just imagine, our YouTube platform for 2022 has gained over 16 million views. In 2023 so far, we've already crossed millions and counting. Our iOS and Android downloads have surpassed the hundred thousands. Since 2016 to present, over 47 million people have viewed our videos. That is proof of our reach worldwide. No other network can outdo our proven performance. No one can beat us. Your live will stay on all our platforms indefinitely. You'll even own the rights to the production. Let Ian Allen transform your business and take it to a place you never thought possible. Call us today to book your spot. The millions are waiting. Thinking of giving your home that modern finish? Then visit ABC Bar Doors and Windows. We are the largest supplier of hardwood finishing goods. Get kitchen and pool tiles, faucets, doors, windows, sinks, and so much more. Come in or give us a call. ABC Bar Doors and Windows, always a better choice. There is no better place to be than an upprice restaurant and bar. Enjoy our drink specials, carb stag and pilsner, tequila shots, and select cocktails, 5 for 100. Bottle specials also available. Johnny Walker, vodka, wine talk, and more. Free entry and no service charge. The vibe never ends at Uprise with our Friday night party, Saturday prom band live performances. Check out our daily menu for fantastic food. 62 Rodney Road in Devish Chagonas, Uprise Restaurant and Bar. See you there. Guess who's coming back to Chagonas?
Is the sun or rain costing you constant repairs? South Coast Awnings has your solution. We provide prompt, efficient service at unbeatable prices. Roofing and gate fabrication also available. Call us today for a free professional consultation. At South Coast Awnings, we've got you covered. Celebrate with Daisy's exclusive this Diwali. Get up to 50% off store wide. New arrivals on draperies, bedding, sofa covers, kitchen curtains, curtain accessories, tablecloths, shower curtains, and bath mats. Visit us at Maynard Chagonis and Pennywise Plaza today. What once was glass is now plastic. You get all the benefits of glass without the drawbacks. And only Gable X packaging will get you there. Plastic application works with all the existing capping methods, so the change is simple and seamless. You get visual clarity without the fragility, as well as less scuffing, scratching, and label tearing. We do PET. PET brings many advantages. You get durability and rigidity. It's more economical, durable, recyclable, and beautiful. Our purpose is to help you profit from what's inside the package. And the outside profits the plants. Get ahead of the competition today. Contact Gable X Packaging Limited. Are you looking to give your home or business a modern natural look? Let Stonehouse turn your imagination into a reality. We supply, install and maintain all natural stone products. Give us a call, find us on social media or visit our showroom. Stonehouse, we give you a lifestyle to envy. Now this is Radica Trading. You know that? And them have everything to cover anything. Radical Trading have the best fabric design for your poster in needs, yeah? The furniture, car, boat, tent, even material for school bags. This will look really nice on my couch, boy. They even make in pillow too. Sprang. Oui. Oh, shucks, I forget for money. Serious? They could pay for it for me. Me and my big mouth boy, I want a Radica get thing to cover mouth yet. Radica Trading, for locations nationwide. Sukai's Diesel Service brings you outstanding and exceptional quality. We carry original parts, diesel pump and injector overhaul, diesel pump and injector testing, machine shop services, complete diesel engine overhaul, engine dyno testing, turbocharger repairs, government approved vehicle inspection station one. We are the premier source of all things diesel. Call us today for an appointment at 671-0900. If it's diesel, it's Sukai's Diesel. Are you dissatisfied with your child's SEA placement or CXC results? Get better grades at CTS College Private Secondary School. You can manage your child's workload by selecting the number of subjects they study each year. Benefit from outstanding student support, live interactive online classes, recorded sessions and dedicated teachers. Ideal for students entering forms 1 to 5, repeaters and mature students. Registration is ongoing. Visit us online at ctscollege.com for more details. I hear a woman's son was taken. How to call her? In fact, ladies and gentlemen, before we go, the, the, there's a press release from the, um, the Commissioner of Prison. Go ahead. Commissioner of Prison, Acting Deopo Ramuta, is today con condemning the brutal attack. Acting, that is the Acting Commissioner, yeah? I don't know why these have these people acting and why they just give them the position and that's it. So much of politics is play with these things, huh? Eh? It's today condemning the brutal attack, att attempted attack of, of Deputy Commissioner of Prison, Sherwin Bruce, by unknown assailants on Wednesday. At around 7, Mr. Bruce successfully defended himself by returning fire. So he hearing that Bruce, right, he attempted, he successfully defended me. However, his driver sustained two gunshot wounds to the chest and was uh, subsequently conveyed to Eric Williams. Medical. This, just imagine the commissioner, the deputy commissioner, had to shoot back. He had to shoot back. Look, this is what Ramuta is saying. Deo Pasad. Nice fellow, you know. Deo Pasad is a nice guy, you know. You know that? I know him. He's a nice fellow. Real nice fellow. Real nice fellow. That's a nice fellow. He's a nice fellow. But nevertheless, acted. Um, showing Bruce. By, well, Commissioner Ramuta has expressed his anguish over the incident. He described it as cowardly and unfortunate. He has, he has stated, "My officers." We are very resilient, and this brazen attack on us will not deter us from doing our duty. We will continue to maintain security and provide and implement strategies and programs geared towards re rehabilitation. There are just two handful of inmates who are undesirable in the prison service and IDSA in society. They are cancerous cells in the, in the organism. Organism. Cancerous cells and unwanted cells. 
I like how he puts it. I like how he puts it. You know what he say? They just have, they just have, they are just two handful of inmates, two handful undesirable in the who are undesirables in the prison service, and he had to deal with them. So he acknowledged them. He acknowledged them. He said that I'm very disappointed given the inroads of my executive and I have made reducing tension between officers and inmates over the past one and a half year. The majority of our inmates are ex-inmates. I will detest that cowardly act of attempting to harm any officer. I call upon ex-inmates and inmates who have embraced the wave in which the prison service is heading to provide any information. Let me tell you something. Eh? We don't need an inmate to provide no information. You know? We have to, whatever we need, who provide, provide. But we have to go, we have to go after them. We have to go after them. We have to go after them. The shooters this morning from Chinapu, you know, you know that? Just wait to you know that. They're from Chinapu. Yeah, they're from Chinapu. I just wait to you know that. Persons who tried to kill the 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 prison commissioner this morning, they're from Chinapu. And boys are them from Chinapu. I just wait to you know that. I know even my prisoner could tell you that. I just telling you what going on. I just telling you. Hi, caller. Good evening. You're live on Crime Watch. Go ahead. I have it right here, you know. I have it right here. It's a real serious thing, you know. This is a real, real serious thing. This is a real, real serious thing. Real serious, serious, serious thing. I think that they have to give front line. You see, I will tell you something, huh? As much as we might say we have to work with the inmates and whatnot, a prisoner is a prisoner, yeah? and, the tend and the tendencies of a prisoner must never be forgotten. Or you must never be, you must never get complacent when you're dealing with them. A criminal is a criminal. Always the tendencies they have brought them inside here, and a criminal is a criminal. And they should be treated like that. The tendencies. So then you, you, you transport in a prison and you might say, okay, take off the handcuff. He nice. He quiet. And that is the day he will bend down and take away a gun and shoot you. Never get complacent with your job. Transporting it. Never. All this nice guy have to stop. They are prisoners and they are monsters. And they must be treated accordingly. Hi, caller. Good evening. You're live on Crime Watch. Yeah, pleasant. Good afternoon. Yeah. Go ahead. I think um, with this Christmas season coming there from next month, I think you see how there is lockdown this place for Carnival, and you see how there is the amount of police that's behind the road. I think that had happened, you know, because this place thing is looking good for this Christmas coming, you know, with the, with the criminal elements and them out there. They need to beef up security, man. Yeah. So the, the, the shooters right, of yeah. them came. You know the I want to tell you, hold on, go back and I want to tell you this today. Information that I have already gathered, information that I've already gathered, is that these guys that tried to kill the prison officer is from Chinapu Village, Mover, Superville Hill. That is the best I can give you. I'm giving all it now. They're from Superville Hill, Chinapu Village, Mover, Superville Hill. Just remember, I tell you that, yeah? We hear it's the, the boss and the boys. All right? These are the people... These are the people that could assist in the investigation. The shooters, again, from Chinapu Village Mover, Superville Hill. That is what I'm hearing. I'm hearing that. This is a real serious. Hi, caller. Good evening. Go ahead. Good evening. Good evening. Hi. You are doing an excellent job. And at this point in time, we need all hands on deck. But... There are some elements in the prison service 
And when you play with the dog, you have to be bitten by the fleas. True. Because True. phones and all those things come in, not coming in the police, in the, in the prisons, just like that. And I always say, when you're a prisoner, you do the time, you do the crime, sorry, you do the time. They need to stop all them visits and you're getting food from the outside and all those kind of things. Stop the visitors at a point in time. But we need to do like the American system. When they come to visit, there's a glass case. No, they have all right? that. They have all that. I have gone to visit people in prison already. And they have all that. Right. They have the glass case. Nice well, and nice. they have, right, all them things. But as I said, when they play with the dog, be prepared to True. be bitten by the police. You see, and I will tell you something, yeah? I will tell you something. In 1948, with the Hamas, and I go back to the Hamas. 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 It go back. It go back. You see, when you leave groups, when you leave people, you see how they left the, the, the persons, in, like the criminals, the gangs, and whatnot? When you leave them, they just regroup and come back. And that is why there are people, groups out there, criminal gangs out there, you have to wipe them out. You have to wipe them out. You have to clean, you have to flatten it. You have to flatten the hills. You have to flatten it. Because all this old talk and talk and discussion and you're going to behave a long time thing. These people are different. They might get calm now, but they will come back and flare up. We allow them at phones just to be nice, so they won't act up. You're not, you not prison. I almost curse. You're not prison. You commit a crime. You kill. You, you chop. You, you shot at people. Where you are? You are bread and ham? You are bread and turkey? No. Based on the, based on the, 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 the convention and, and, and whatever with the rights of prisoners and whatnot, we have, all right, we can do everything. We can do everything. We can treat, treat you, make sure you get your meals and everything. But you have no phone. You get your proper bath. You get your sun out. You get everything. You get a good room to sit down and, and spend your time. You can do a degree. You can do a master's. You can do all kind of thing. Right? You can do a trade right, while in prison. You learn to play music. You learn to cut wood. You learn to do the, the joinery and carpentry and whatever. How much years you're spending? Why can't you get no phone to call people? People calling people. How, you think, like, how, how do you think? How do you think? How do you think certain people were killed? How do you think certain people were killed? How do you think? How do you think the family, the family of the 13-year-old girl, how do you think that was killed with her uncle? And she, yeah, was a call from, what well, was a call? A call of instructions. Go deal with them. Because tomorrow, they have to, they have, she have to go, she have to go to court. The Monday, she, the Monday she was going to court. How do you think people get gone down on their way to court? Because of her phone. And you see now, you could video call. So by the time I reach and tell me, which one? Which, which road to take? Okay, don't take this road. Make a left, make a left. Yeah, I know that shop right there. Yeah, right there living, right there. And you're going to shoot people. And that is how they're taking instruction from out from inside. We can't think that, that to be nice. We're well, gonna be nice. There are people who can't take the, there's no way you can rehab, rehabilitate them. You can't bring them back. They're bent on that life and that's it. I ain't gonna treat you like no dog. I'll make sure you get your meals, you have a shower, you have a TV to watch me. There are people watching me in, in, on TV right now in prison. But you will do your time. I ain't saying lock you up in a room and you can't come out, you can't. No, I would not do that. Because it's based on international laws and what are the rights of a prisoner and so, 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 whatever, whatever. It have that. I think based on the UN, the United Nations thing and all encouragement and what the prisoners, persons held and thing, you can't treat people like that. Everybody's innocent and proven guilty, but whether you're innocent or whether you're guilty, you will get a particular treatment. And Prison and the, 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 the prison office, the prison officers and the commissioner have to put on their foot. A prisoner is a prisoner, full stop. And unless we don't have that approach, 
When you sleep with puppies, you just get bitten with fleas. Take what I tell you. A snake is a snake. You can have a pet snake and this snake nice. This snake nice. There's a nice snake. There's a nice snake. The snake walking up and down in the house. You're playing with it so you're going so. But at the end of the day, a snake is a snake. And they are snakes. And the reason why they have been incarcerated is because they bit someone outside. I'm just breaking it down for you. So now, you feel they're calm and they're nice. The moment they, get, they see a window to escape, they will escape. We have become too complacent with them. No phone, no phone. No phone, no phone. And not because the commissioner, deputy commissioner prison say no phone. They go by the mouth, the manhouse and shoot them up. By this time, we should have already know where that car went, who driving that car, and go for them. By this, by this time, their faces should have been painted on every media house. These are the persons that we are looking for. I have to come and tell you, right now, the people responsible for that, Commissioner coming out, nobody coming out, I have to come out and tell you that here we're going on. They're from Chinapu Village Mova, Superville Hill. That's the best I can tell you. Those of you who choose to go to ianallen.org, and remember, ladies and gentlemen, send us the information, and also, there is a a, a form where you can support crime much. Go to any First Citizen Bank tomorrow because we're going to step it up. But we need your financial support. Those of you who want to send from abroad or, you, or, you, or, you, or you, your PayPal account or you, or you want to send it via a transfer, there's a SWIFT account, a SWIFT code and everything. We need, I need your support. We need your support to fix this place. I need your support. I need your support. Maybe tighten security. Do, do what we have to do, but go after them. And that is my approach, you know. Come back to me. You have to go after them. People killing people and people bowl about it. People, I see a video with, with uh, uh, fellas with an AR, normal, sit down, relaxing. Where is that? They don't business, they don't business. They don't business. They don't business. Look at this. Who is these fellas and them? Where are these fellas and them from? Who is these fellas and them? Where are these fellas from? Watch this one, watch. Where these fellas and I'm from? This is Trinidad. Where these fellas and I'm from? They're from Trinidad. Where are they from? I see this video circulating. It's a normal thing. Everybody's a cool scene. Let's take a fast break. Thank you, friends and avid viewers, as you continue to support Crime Watch via our PayPal and FCB account. Support Crime Watch with a minimum donation of $5 from anywhere in the world. Donate via our PayPal, oneian.allen at gmail.com, or wire transfer to FCB account 1898739 with the SWIFT code. Be a part of the movement. Welcome to Figure Synoptical, your one stop for eye care. We provide free eye exam and free frames for all. Free sunglasses or hampers, 20% off lenses, payment options available, eight location nationwide. Come in or give us a call today. <laughs> Janice, where's your secret? Your place always so clean and organized. <laughs> well, girl, I've got a secret. It's Sir. Sir? Seriously? You have a man coming to clean? No, girl. Sir's an amazing new line of cleaning products. I'm talking about kitchen sprays, bathroom scrubs, even laundry detergent. They've got the whole house covered. So your secret weapon is Sir? You bet. Sir cleaning products are a game changer. Not only do they smell amazing, they're effective and affordable. And this Sir definitely wouldn't judge your mess. <laughs> <laughs> Introducing the Sir Collection, a wide range of affordable cleaning essentials for every corner of your home. Discover the secret to a clean home. Available at all leading supermarkets nationwide. Santana boy, you can pick me up? Yeah, where you? By racetrack wheels. Boy, I went inside and I lose my mind. It's the best in brand name rims and high performance tires for so. They have specials, so I make my name. Ha ha ha! Panarine, you don't have a car? 
Patsy go kill me. Racetrack wheels. Number 330 Eastern Main Road, Aruka. Number 64 Southern Main Road, Chase Village. And number 82 Bethel Me Road, Tobago. Idris Marketing is the place to be for everything that you want in your home. From these beautiful but yet affordable patio sets, trust me, they're comfortable. With a wide array of beautiful vanity sinks with LED lights, you're sure to light up your life. When you see these bathroom enclosures, trust me, you want to be it one time. And all these affordable original appliances, kitchen aid, black and decker, Hamilton Beach, Kenwood, oh lord, I wish I was born with more hands. They even have everything for your kitchen, non-stick pan, fry pan, container to pack your lunch. And I'm afraid to bring my mother to see them curtains, because oh god, I'm going to run brooks. So come on down now and see for yourself why Idris Marketing is the best. Farbinger Expo is back, the fashion house of Trinidad. Farbinger Expo, located opposite Medford Gas Station in Shibonas, will be reopening on Saturday, October 7th. It's bigger and better. Getting married or attending a wedding? Need temple wear or casual outfits? Then you need to check us out. Find something for every occasion. We've added two new boots for children wear. Get matching jewelry, footwear and accessories. Your one-stop shop. We've got a wide range of furniture available. Need to pick up lunch or dinner? Then check out our multi-cuisine food court. We've got the Fabinia Arcade and Meraki Spa, a complete family outing at Fabinia Expo, opposite Medford Gas Station, Shogunas, from 11 a.m. to 9 p.m. daily. We're open on weekends and public holidays. When NASA set out to explore the reaches beyond our world, they needed a material that would hold up to the demands of the unknown. Flexible titanium, engineered from the same alloy used for missile heat shields, Flexon set the new standard in durable eyewear. Flexible titanium eyewear. Available at Neo Eyewear, 91D Main Road, Suite 1, Montrose Mall, Chagornas, 672-5052 or 3903196. <laughs> Janice, where's your secret? Your place always so clean and organized. <laughs> well, girl, I've got a secret. It's Sir. Sir? Seriously? You have a man coming to clean? No, girl. Sir's an amazing new line of cleaning products. I'm talking about kitchen sprays, bathroom scrubs, even laundry detergent. They've got the whole house covered. So your secret weapon is Sir? You bet. Sir cleaning products are a game changer. Not only do they smell amazing, they're effective and affordable. And this Sir definitely wouldn't judge your mess. <laughs> <laughs> Introducing the Sir Collection, a wide range of affordable cleaning essentials for every corner of your home. Discover the secret to a clean home. Available at all leading supermarkets nationwide. Enhance your space with extreme home and tile supplying limited. Get porcelain and ceramic tiles, decorative security doors, toilet sets, face basins, and more. Visit us at Perseverance Road Chase Village Corners or call 299 3271 for more info. October is here with PSL deals priced so low all month long. Get Brunswick Tuna Flakes 3 for $19.95. Rainbow Corn Beef was $19.95, now $16.95. Eve Barbecue Sauce 2 for $24.95. Waller Farms Vinegar 3 for $19.95. Chicken Neck 3 pounds for $19.95. Erin Farm Chicken Salami 2 for $19.95. Boneless Chicken Breast $19.95 per pound. Mabel's Mayonnaise 2 for $24.95. Gatorade 3 for $24.95. It's Breast Cancer Month. Early detection is the best solution. Secure your chances to win one of 10 mammograms with the purchase of pink label products from featured brands. Three convenient locations, one in Rio Claro and two in Mayaro. SNS Passat, loyal to local. Is your business or company not making money? That's because no one knows about you. Advertise on Crime Watch, the number one show and watch your business transform. Call us at 294 4081 or 225-3250. We are professionals in general construction, paving, asphalt services and preparation of residential and commercial developments. At Liquor Construction Services Limited, our team of professionals has the knowledge, experience and resources to make your projects run smoothly, on time, on budget. We supply red sand, gravel, oil sand and more. Equipment rental available. 20-ton excavators, mini excavators, porter cool, bulldozers, concrete pumps and so much more. Contact us today for a free site.
website visit and quote. First five orders will receive a gift voucher from Raquel Muda or a Robert Graham polo shirt. On confirm reports uh, that a man was shot and wounded in Kamoto. So we, so we have unconfirmed reports. Also, a 27-year-old man was shot for the double murder of Andrea Lalan and her, un and her uncle Selvan Lalan, which occurred in September. The suspect was identified as Tafari Bain, a.k.a. Taffy. <laughs> All right? So the, the suspect was identified. It's expected to be charged for the attempted murder of Andrea's father, Eddie Lalan. Lalan, as well as pos possession of a firearm ammunition. The trio was at their home. Andrea and Sylvan died at the scene. I stand right here. Come back to me. I stood right here. Right here, ladies and gentlemen. And I used that word with the information. See? So the information we get. Whatever we pass to the police, we pass through it. And it was on point. As you can see, a suspect held. Tafari Bain, a.k.a. Taffy, of Mayaro Old Road, Rio Claro. Also, ladies and gentlemen, um, what, what page? The shooting in the vicinity of Arapita Avenue left one man dead and two others injured on Tuesday. The deceased was identified as Kelvin Alvin Nandram, a.k.a. DJ Global. The shooting also reportedly left lo local Trinidad artists, K-Man 6 and other men injured. Around 11.15, the victim were buying food at Avenue located at Carlos Street when they heard multiple gunshots. Nandram realized he was shot and got in his white Toyota feeder wagon and drove off but stopped at the end of the street. Police were notified responding officers took of the IATF took Nanjam and the injured victim. Nanjam was pronounced dead. That is a real serious... And you know what? And imagine, they want to bring the avenue. Have you ever been, have you ever been down to the avenue recently? Have you been there recently? You should have seen the characters. The whole avenue has changed, you know. Yeah, the whole avenue has changed. The whole avenue has changed. It has changed. They want to spend a set millions of dollars, millions of dollars. They want, they, they want, they want, they want, they have a plan to spend millions, millions of dollars on the avenue. Try to keep the, try to pe keep people who buy in burger safe first now, before you spend money. Before the mayor of Port of Spain spend money there on the avenue and make it in that city. Try to keep the business community in that area and persons who come to patronize and, 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 and buy burger and buy chicken and chips and doubles, try to keep them safe. Look, we have a, a known DJ gone down on the avenue. How many people get killed on the avenue already? What day? I remember, hold on. The last murder, the last murder took place was on 11 December when Rondell Taylor, a.k.a. Bondi of Fitzalan Street, Point Commander Karina was shot and killed on Aripita Avenue in Woodbrook. Remember that? That was the last person killed. Try me before you come to spend all kind of and waste taxpayers' money. Protect the business people, protect the business community, protect the gyro man, protect everybody who, who, are, who have the clubs, who are trying to make money, who are trying and, and trying their hand in a little business. Protect them. You tell me people buying doubles and so what about if it had children? What about if all the children, they put the mother and they stand up here and they're eating and they're eating, they're eating, they're eating a little food. There's this guy who does a juice on the avenue. It's an amazing juice, an amazing juice. And all those places, people trying their hand, people trying their hand in a little business. What is this? What is this? And yet we show mercy on the criminals. We can't show mercy. We cannot show mercy. There must be no mercy shown. All this PSB and, and, and professional standard bureau. Leave police, let them do their thing. Take out the gloves. You have to take out the gloves and go after them. Because any, at any opportunity, these people will kill with gun down all year, gun down all the family, gun down everybody, you know. I tell you today, 
Today is a turning point, you know. Today is a turning point with that deputy commissioner, you know. Don't feel it's business as usual tomorrow, you know. That is the level they're thinking, you know. The, the, the deputy commissioner still had a little fire to take out and back some shots, spell some corn behind them. But what about the frontline men out there too? The frontline prison officers. Give them fire. Um, lays with the minister. And you know, you know, Fitzgerald Hines and them. And this one and that one. Go find all the reason why frontline officers shouldn't get a firearm to go with them. Oh, he might go drink. Well, if he chooses to do that, he chooses to do that. Well, put that on and off button on the gun. <laughs> so if every time I go to use it, it off. And if I, if I, if I not use it for other... For crime, for crime, it off. If I take it out, it put something. If you, if that, if that, you're really thinking, we have to think outside of the box. The dynamics with respect to crime has changed. Let's imagine 28 prison officers between 2090, between 1990 to now and 2021. 2021. Am I right? 2021. They have been murdered. They have been murdered. Superintendent, all kind of things gone down. So that I raise an alarm. That I raise the government alarm. That I raise the Minister of National Security alarm. Let's protect the people protecting the, who secure the monsters. Because brother man, when them escape, crap or smoke your pipe. Hi, caller. Good evening. You're live on Crime Watch. Hi, Mr. Ian. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Square pegs in wrong holes. That's a good one in this country. Square pegs in wrong holes. Have a pleasant day. Also, ladies and gentlemen, we have, we have vacancies for, cam for cameramen. We have vacancies for advertising department. Right? Put up the email address now. And I'm only doing it today and tomorrow. Because by Friday, by Friday, it's done. This is the email address you see here, one ian dot allen at gmail dot com. There are vacancies for those of you who work in advertising department. We'll give you a stipend and you will see what ads you can get to advertise on the show. Cameraman, we'll give you a car. You will keep you will, you will keep it at your home and only when you, you get stories, you will drive quite to quite to, take the shots and go back home with my car. That is it. My car is not a joyride. I have GPS and so you can't run no, you know what, in my car. I'm very serious about those things. We have work for people, some graphic artists. If you're in IT business, I'm serious. I'm only putting up this for two days. Take advantage of it. Put it up on my fan page right now. Right? Tell the person posting, put, put it up right now. After that, in 24 hours, it's gone. No, it's gone. It's gone. Some of you who, who maybe didn't get a call, Look out for the call, but are that serious? We need researchers. I need cameramen. I'm gonna be doing some restructuring. I do some restructuring. If you have information about gun, well tell me, let me know what's going on. We gotta fix it. We, no, we're gonna fix this place. We're gonna fix it. We're gonna fix it. We're gonna fix it. We're gonna fix it. On the avenue, people eating and get gone down. Half past eleven in the night. Eh? Half past eleven in the night. Come now, let, 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 let's talk business. Half past 11 in the night. Half past 11. Half past 11 in the night. 11.15. People on the avenue. Children must be going to buy gyro. People must be going to buy that, um, doubles by the people on them in um, Cornelius Street. Yeah. Uh, so you see now, one of the fellas in the go with the gun, he was one of the fellas getting injured last night. Huh? Okay. Okay. Which one was that? This one get injured with the gun? He got shoot last night? But we he holding gun and thing for what is this? So he was the target. Oh, and the DJ man get... Yeah, get shots. That real sad boy. When two of them was holding, I see two of them holding two pump or something. But he and the next fellow with the same people. Two of them holding a gas pump. You, you saw the photo? That is how they cut them off.
Watch. Well, you, you live by the sword, you die by the sword. If, if daddy dance all in and all the feet holding a gun. If daddy dance all in, we want people to do. There's a war zone. Protect yourself, officers out there. Those of you who have your husband going out there to fight crime. Those of you who have your father going out there to fight crime. Say a prayer, hug up your daddy and tell him you love him. Hug up your daddy because you don't know if your daddy coming back home. A female police officer can shoot too. Where? Oh, uh -huh. well, you you a, a, a woman activist or? And because I ain't say female activists, all these sexy police officers out there, that's some hot, you know, nice lady with Barrett and thing, who Barrett was standing up with. And, tell, and I like to speak, and I, I to call Officer Sunil Barrett, Inspector Sunil Barrett later. Yeah, we have to protect ourselves, officers protect ourselves, and don't feel it cannot happen. Always remember, you know, you see the day that tire blow out? Remember that. You remember Monday when tire blow out? And if young fella lost his life, What's the guy's name again? Prakash or something, we know. Rajesh. Rakesh. Huh? Rakesh. You see that? You never know what a normal business, what a normal day. He's a truck driver. Watch this. He check his truck. The truck overloaded. It rubbing on the tire. They make numerous reports. Watch. You see? You never know the day you can go to work and never come back home. You never know. It's a war zone, you know? Look, Shogunna's police station. You see how Shogunna's police station put up a fence? Because even the police... <laughs> police station put up a fence in the Shogunna police station. One big high fence, if you see it. But that is good. Because you can protect officers, people can jump over the could jump over the, 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 the wall. I remember a little fella walking there. That's, that same wall, we used to pull up our hands like that when we were kids. Going home, my friends and I we used to climb up on the wall. That same wall. Climb up there to see the police and them so. Hey. And we used to look through the little brick wall and say, hey, hey, policeman, policeman. Yeah, policeman, policeman. Hey, hey, policeman. Then we see the gun. Policeman, policeman. Woo, woo, woo. I mean, run and run. That same police station. Huh? You see that same little brick hole there? The brick hole. We said run right. And watch it. We said, watch it. All of us. We said jump up so to reach the height. So I get locked up in that same station, too. Yeah, I get locked up in that same station, too. Yeah. And he sell. Buy something. Buy something. I tell them, what can I think they try to stop me? But they can't. I destiny. My destiny. Greatness ahead of me. Greatness ahead of you who watching me. I tell you, watch me. Your enemies, they see your potential, you know, and they don't like you. Always remember that. People see your potential. People know that your greatness ahead of you before you see it. And that's why they treat you so. That's why your boss and I'm treating you like that. That's why your family is treating you like Because they know you have a little business and they know one day you'll be big. And you'll go on Ian Allen's show to advertise. And you'll get your product on my show. And they're going to see the pop ups. Do the headman put up the pop ups? Oh, shucks. Mr. Arm pop ups. Right, Mr. Pop up. I mean, the person with graphic. Yeah, we, yeah. I really, you know, I was really shocked. Yeah, and I do, I'll be doing something to step up my game. And I need your support. I really need your support because we're going out there. But this thing on the avenue is really sad. It's it, it terrible. It's terrible. It's terrible. It's terrible. Also, an 18-year-old male was arrested after he was caught with a stolen vehicle in Arima. Around 11 p.m., a man reported his vehicle vehicle at B14 before he went in his, in, Sunday, in his home. When he got up in the night, five past, five past 12 had gone. So the thief in B14. I just want you to know that. So if you have a little central B silver and the B14, the thief in it. The thief in old car, the thief in new car. Also, a man was sentenced to 12 months in jail after he pleaded guilty to store breaking at the plaza in the district in the district on Monday. Like Kuva. Kuva have a village plaza? Which part that is? 
Which part? Which one are you going? By where? And se- by Tony's Grill? By Tony's Grill? Or that is on the, that is the west side, the east, the west side, on the western side. They're really going by T and Tech. Okay. Okay. That good, you get 12 months. That good. You shall put here. You have a picture of him? He named Videsh Maharaj of Kuva. You have a picture of Videsh? Put him up. Put him up. You have a picture of Videsh. A woman who was in prison for the murder of her sister died at Monktop Hospital. The deceased was identified as 55 year old Radhika Rizal Singh, who suffered from hypertension, diabetes, and major depress- depressive disorder. Was taken to hospital on Friday. However, she died on Monday. Her condition deteriorated. Remember that same woman there on Tuesday, the 16th of June. She was from Southern Main Road, Pleasant Park, Point of Pay, and her boyfriend, Marlon McCain, a Farrell Clean and Sucre, was arrested. The Jew was subsequently charged for the murder of her sister, 53 year old Gita Newman, of Pleasant Park, Point of Pay. Newman was last seen alive. In the company of her sister, the one who died yesterday, today. So you see? Remember she and she boyfriend. Is she boyfriend here? Yeah? <laughs> Jesus Lord. Alright? Well, that's our old story. That matter before the courts. So can't really do nothing there. Well. Also, it's I, I, we can't confirm, yeah? I can't confirm that command sent just send this. I mean I understand. The, you know, command center can send out stuff, but we can't confirm that as yet. We can't confirm. Can't confirm that as yet. Hey, you have information about guns and drugs. Just give us now. And we're not like given information. Don't say, well, the man have a gun. When last year see the gun? Yeah, just now, before. You like voice note? You like voice note? When last year see, when last year see the gun? Tell me when last year see the gun, because... Mr. Allen, if you go by the house, now you can send videos on ianallen.org and I personally, I, Ian Allen, will call you back. I will call you back personally because all the information coming to me, they're going to nobody. And you know, I don't give out my source. I walk away from 250000 a month because I don't give out my source. You know. That's what I tell you. We're doing it different, you know. We're doing it different. I don't like that facades are there. That pop-up for facade. Let me see that, pers- that, that, that pop-up. People spending money here. Brighten up that for me and do it better than that. Tell him that. Okay? I do like the dark sides of each other. That, it, 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 it don't catch my eye. Fix that. Tell him, as I tell somebody, not because you're spending mon- mad money here. Yeah, I want you to make money. I want you. I care about you. I was telling a company today and showing them and they sent me out. I say, where is that? Where is that? You can't make no money with that. Let me do a nice art for you. I want people out showing. I want to see when they pop up. If people like that pop up thing. Is that chic, Lisha? Right. That's what I want. That is what I want. I want people to make money. You support them. I know I want you to make money. So, Kai Diesel, nice ad. Nice pop ups. You understand? I saw this thing with the command set. And I was telling about the guns and the drugs. All of be serious. Yeah? We had to fix this place and I need all of you. If all I want, I tell you, let us send some money. You want to sell a million, you want to sell a two million, they're not, they're not seen. Look at putting it up there. Yeah, what's going on? We need your support from all over the world. All over the world, I come down to the flat, support my show. This, is to, this goes to, to, to the fight of crime. That we can buy more vehicles. You know, we can do it different with your support. So don't come and tell me, well, I'll send in $2. Please. It's to fix this country. Come back to me and post up that. So this thing circulating right now with command center, we don't know. We can't confirm. But if I tell you something, yeah? go ahead. Acknowledging command center over. 
I don't know if they command center, I find that command center, come, command center, take all units, all units, blah, blah, blah. All the vision, there's a, 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 a transmission from command center. I know how it sounds. Um, blah, blah, blah. All units, all be on alert and blah, blah, blah. But I just find that voice, so they really sound like, I don't know. I don't know if it's really authentic, but it they really sound like, you know, now. But you can never just, it's serious out there for police officers. If they could go after the prison man, the deputy commissioner of prison, shoot a body man house, you know. Shoot a body man. You can imagine if the, the, the scenes there tonight, everybody might be concerned, the family might be able to leave this one and that one. It's a serious thing, you know. And them, if, they, if them could go after these people and them, by them going after you, boy, so that is why I need your support. I don't tell everybody shooters from already. And I tell you back again if you had if if stick breaking ears. I tell you back again. I tell you back again. Yeah. They're from um Chinapu. Yeah, they're from Chinapu. Hi, caller. Good evening. You're live on Crime Watch. Go ahead. Superville, hello, whatever. You have to deal with them, boy. You have to deal with them. 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 Have to, have to deal with them. A man died after he was knocked down while trying to cross the Church of Roosevelt Highway. <coughs> the deceased has only been identified as Redo of Davis Street, Aruka. I thought they said it was a woman who got nearly got raped or some kind of thing. All about they said a woman who nearly got raped. That Redo who got knocked down, eh? Of Davis Street, Five Rivers, Aruka. <coughs> Everybody said it was a woman and she got to get raped and she jumped out of the car. Well, thing happening, so them things are that possibility too. But it's a man called Redo from Aruka. Just to let you know that. It's a man called Redo from Aruka. Also, you know, 74 persons in this country, in Trinidad and Tobago, died as a result of accidents on the road. 74 persons already. Yeah? 74 persons. Is it tonight? I'll go for him tonight. No, might be tonight or tomorrow. I'll lay a rest tonight. I will take you before the weekend. <laughs> I'll come by home before the weekend. Mark my word. Eh? I'll come by home. It's in my head right now. But as I'm feeling the night. There's one chance, there's just one window I'm looking for. I see the window already. The window open, the window of opportunity is open. But just one chance to catch you. I'll bring a clip by your house. I'll bring police by your house. And they will hurt you up. They want to have fires, they will hurt you up. They will hurt you up. I get the information already. What is she saying? Tell us something, you know. Also, um, a, decompo a decomposing body of a woman was found inside of her apartment in Mova. She has been identified as Rhonda Berkeley of Monroe Road, Mova. Anybody have any photograph of her? The woman landlord got a false smell coming from inside of her apartment and decided to contact the police. Officers responded and found her on her bed with an. With an air aspiration on her face. Okay. 
that you run that Berkeley. Anybody have a picture of her? She was found off Monroe Road in Mover. Also, police are trying to identify a body of a man that was found in San Fernando around 3.39. The deceased body was discovered near Charlie's Black Pudding along Napari Mayaro Road, Palmaria Villa, San Fernando. Police were notified a team of officers led by PC Rambajan responded. The DMO was surmounted the scene, viewed the body, and made their pronouncements. Also, a man was found dead days after he passed away. A man was found dead days after he passed away at his workplace in Bamboo. The deceased was identified as Theophilus Harrington, a.k.a. Theo, who was originally from Tobago and a caretaker of Intex car parts in Bamboo No. 2 Valsin. Harrington's body was discovered on Tuesday on the upper floor of the building. All right? Theophilus Harrington, a.k.a. Theo. I wonder who's that boy? Theophilus Harrington. Originally from Tobago and a caretaker of Intex car parts. Also, on a top reveal that the, ba the baby found dead in a bin at Marval was stillborn. Okay? A top that it was stillborn. Also, several cars caught fire at the car park at Dewey on Tuesday. Around 11 24, campus authorities were alerted about the fire involving four vehicles at the JFK car park. They need more security there. Four, but it, I know what you, you know what is frightening? A lot of students, young girls, park their cars, they walk there. They need more cameras. They need, they need cameras. We ask in school, put more cameras around campus, please. We live in terrible times. We don't know, we, we, we don't know what caused the fire. But it's a clear case of arson because you know what? It was malicious. How does accident with four cars go burn up? At, what was that? What is it? Four cars burn up? Okay. They park up close to each other. But four cars in a parking lot? All right. Okay. Also, Minister of Local Government, Faris Alwari, disclosed is the cost the Ministry of Local Government are robbed the rest of per month, 16,000 per month for garbage collection across the country. Per household. Boy. <laughs> we really want to hear him. You think you really want to hear him? He's the man who say, he's the man who said, jam the business, jam the residents, jam them, jam the small man. Ja get the video. Jam the house, the household owners. Jam the board, the man with the board house and put up a concrete wall. Jam the man who take on the galvanize and put a nice steel roof. Jam them. But don't touch the business community for property tax. That's the man. That's the man who drafted it. That's the man who came up with it. Table. Um, residential property tax is. It's for local government. The Start the video first, please. Commercial property tax is not on the table. Um, residential property tax is right you see residential that demand that demand and you come to tell me you come to tell me sixteen thousand dollars for garbage what you want to do the child me to put on a garbage bag now what you want to do so you want me to pay property tax plus you're coming and telling me now sixteen thousand dollars for a house come now man sixteen thousand dollars a house that's what you said that's what you're telling me, right? A month. If I know three days the garbage truck coming, well, well each community buy a garbage truck and running for themselves, 16,000. Come now, man. Come now. Every step all I make, all I want to oppress people. My God. National Security Minister, last one. Federal Heinz called on the public to show support to the police by providing information, intelligence, instead of using the standard gong legislation. You still on politics? They trust Ian Allen. Take it in your ways. They trust Ian Allen. They trust Ian Allen. They go to Ian Allen Network. They go to IanAllen.org. They go and they send us the information and we go after them. And just to let you know, it's so sad. More than 2,000 people died following a powerful earthquake that struck Western Afghanistan on Sunday. A 6.3 magnitude earthquake struck the West City of Herat province, killing approximately 2,000 
and 53 people. Really sad. Right, you think it really happened, yes? You think it really happened. Well, ladies and gentlemen, say your prayers. Be careful out there. Protect yourself, those of you. Why are you po po? The one given from the, the one authorized by the commissioner of police. Be vigilant. Be alert. Secure it. Learn to shoot. Don't go and buy no illegal firearm. Don't do nothing wrong. And watch the zone. Because you have what going on. They are out there. If you have information about drugs, about guns, about AR tonight. Tonight, whole night, are out till 6 o'clock in the morning on exercise, looking. If you have information, we outside. I outside. And I can call my boy, Senior Superintendent Smith, or I can call anybody from any division and they will give me support if the information is right. So if you, look, if you already know your neighbor have a gun right now, and you, you pump him with it, and you see he put it on the roof, or you put it by the icebox, or you put it by the fig tree, just let me know now. What's up, man? 2944081. There's not no show just for show, you know. This is a show, and we have to be proactive. Why are we highlighting? We solving. This is Ian Allen. This is Crime Watch. Have a wonderful night. I'll be back tomorrow. And remember, if you're looking for work, send me a resume. I'm very difficult to deal with. But believe me, you'll love it. I want to frighten you. I mean business. I mean business. Have a wonderful night. Good night.